hey guys uh, i wanted to introduce you all to this uh, european made telescope actually it came out of germany and the company is called omegan i've been following them for a while i've been checking the cloudy nights discussion about this quadruplet uh, recently tim from astroidic channel also uh, reviewed this telescope the price point of this telescope is actually pretty low for a quadruplet so it's a four element lens telescope like three in the front and one in the back uh, there isn't good reviews on this telescope both on amazon.com cloudy nights everyone complains that either they have pinched optics or whatever most of it is something to do with the collimation of this telescope uh, looks like there are some quality issues this can be like a travel scope for a cheaper price for all the people who are new to astrophotography i think this is a good entry point for uh, someone who is coming in new hey guys uh, before we go too far i wanted to give a shout out to aaron from av astronomy check out his videos he got some cool stuff so let me give you the complete overview of this telescope all right so here is the omega pro apo 710 so this is a quadruplet the focal length of this telescope is 450 millimeters the f ratio is 6.3 and the aperture is 71 millimeters so it's a pretty wide field of view and they have this uh, retractable dew shield in the front you can actually unthread the top portion as well so when you buy the telescope you get these two rings with the telescope and they give you this small dovetail that goes with it i guess that's too small so i removed that and uh, i put a celestron universal adapter that so that at least you know i can slide back and forth also what i noticed was the focuser is actually pretty close to the clamps here so when you try to install this on top of the mount you may need to raise the height this focuser the coarse focuser and the fine focuser works actually fairly well they are very smooth and when i try to actually look at the stars it doesn't move a whole lot that's pretty neat for this kind of a telescope if they don't move that much and uh, it's uh, it's a pretty long focus tube that they provided and in the back of it if you see there is a compression ring and if you take the compression ring off inside you will notice an m63 male adapter so if you don't want to use compression ring Uh, on the european website they have an adapter for m63 female to m48 i think that's something to think about but i still end up using the compression ring temporarily okay so i was talking to you about the plate here being so close to the focuser right so you may need to raise this up to make sure the fine focuser and the coarse focuser either manually or with a automatic system works properly right so the way i did was this is uh, orion you can mount your dovetail on the top another universal adapter is there in the bottom and these two are connected with the usual metal screw here all you have to do is put this on the mount and this entire system goes on top of on top of this one i put a tape here so that i don't need to worry about the back the balance all right and all you have to do is uh, mount this so you can use both the color and the monochrome cameras with this kind of a setup here 
So let me show you the scenario for both. Okay. So as you can see, there is a compression ring in the back. So the way you can do it is I have I have a Hotec SEA field flattener here, and this one goes into the compression ring. So what I what I heard was even though it's a quad refractor, the edges of this telescope images still have some elongated stars. So I was kind of worried about that and I thought maybe the Hotec field flattener might do a good job. Okay. So all you have to do is uh, put this uh, field flattener inside and there is a self centering mechanism for this one. So you can thread this a little bit and make these make this tight and do the rest of the centering part here and now the SEA Hotec field flattener is properly installed and it goes this will stay on for both the color as well as the monochrome right. So on top of these two rings you can actually put a guide scope I didn't want to use that there is also a horseshoe here for your uh, um, you know the red dot finder kind of scenario I didn't use any one of these I wanted to use actually off axis guider with this setup so this is ZWO off axis guider mini off axis guider and on top of it ZWO 120mm uh, camera so on the on one side of it which is basically the camera side you have these compression rings kind of scenario right and on the other side uh, there are like m48 threads and you can actually surprisingly thread this directly to your field flattener All right, so this is good to go. Now, if you can see the guide scope is like in this direction, uh, I mean it does not matter which direction it is, but there is a rotator functionality that this telescope has. So you can actually nicely rotate the system not just for taking pictures, but also if you have issues with your equipment, how it looks. You can fix that one too. It is pretty neat that way. Okay. So, this is all ready to go. Now, we got the field flattener off axis scatter. I measured the distance that it needs to be here and inside as well. Now, let us do the next part. So, we are building the image train for the color camera. Okay. So, this ring comes with your off axis getter and it has the M42 kind of uh, threads and this 4.5 millimeters I believe comes with your off axis getter as well or else you can buy this 4.5 mm uh, spacer. You need this spacer to make the 55 millimeters back focus for your color camera. So you can thread the spacer into the adapter that goes for your off axis getter and now you got off axis getter and the spacer right. So this is ZWO071 camera and this is the filter slider from Star Arizona. So this is threaded as well for your camera M42 size and, and inside I have Optolong L enhanced filter and also I am planning to use the Bader IR UV filter 
and that goes right here. So on the other side which is the telescope side I added one extra adapter to convert that M48 to M42 and now this setup directly threads to your spacer here right. All right, so you just build yourself a complete system for the color. You have Hotec field flattener, off axis gator, the spacer, the Starizona filter slider, manual filter slider, and the color camera. With this setup, you can actually take beautiful pictures with this telescope. So, let me show you how to build the monochrome. Actually, the things that you need to replace are pretty simple. All you have to do is take it up up to the spacer and bring the ZWO 1600 monochrome camera. So this is the 1600 monochrome camera. It has a seven filter electronic filter wheel, the one and a quarter one. Uh, this filter wheel has, the manual one has uh, two inch filters. These are only 1.25 and you connect a 11 mm spacer here that comes with the camera so you can actually keep this ready whenever you wanted to take using the monochrome of course you can uh, make sure you can put a dust cover as well on top of it okay so when you need to remove you can disconnect you can disconnect the off axis getter here and this stuff comes off right so this is exactly where you need to change so if you take out the 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 ring that goes into the off axis getter this is the ring that works for both your spacer on the color as well as the 11 mm ring here right so this is the bridge between the monochrome camera and the color so all you have to do is uh, uh, thread this here. Now this setup can go into the off axis gator and your monochrome is ready to go. With the appropriate 55 millimeter spacing that you need. So now you just changed from the color to the monochrome without making a whole lot of change of course you may need to refocus a little bit for the monochrome sometimes you may have to fix a tiny bit of off axis gator sometimes no don't need to i'll show you guys that stuff all right so the telescope is completely assembled now i did some cable management as well as you can see right now i have the color camera and the IR UV filter here. I wanted to take a picture of Andromeda Galaxy using this telescope today. I'll show you.